Welcome to CrackingMBA.com. Today we are going to discuss about data interpretation and going to give you a brief overview about the section of CAT. In this session, we will talk about the different types of representation of data and some of the types that we will cover are the tabular representation, the bar charts, the line charts, the pie charts, and we will briefly touch upon the miscellaneous charts. Tabular representation is one of the most common types of representation of data. In this, the data is represented in rows and columns. The intersection of a row and column is the value that is represented by this table. Let's look at a table given here. The data represented is the profit of an infrastructure company for four years from 2000 to 2003. For example, for the year 2000, the revenue is 100 crores, the cost is 70 crores, and the profit is 30 crores. Similarly, we can interpret the profit of this company for the other years of 2001, 2002, and 2003. Let's now look at bar charts. This consists of a group of bars which are all at an equal distance from each other. They are easy to read and understand. The most important benefit of this type of chart is to be able to visually compare the data. Let's look at the example which is provided on the right side over here. The bar chart represents the profits in crores of four infrastructure companies for financial year 17. The x-axis represents the companies and the y-axis represents the profits in crores for those companies. We can clearly observe that Rabila has the highest profits while TNT Inc. has the lowest profits. Let's move on to line charts. These are similar to bar charts, but the data is represented as a point instead of a graph. Let us look at an example here. This line chart represents the profits of four infrastructure companies for that financial year, 17. This is similar to the data that we've seen in the previous slide, but the data here is now represented as dots. Let us now look at pie charts, which are very common. This type of chart is represented by a circle with several pies. The share of each pie is proportional to its share in the entire data set. Let's look at the example provided on the right side. There are four pies in this chart representing the profits of four different companies. You should note that the unit of measure here is percentage as compared to the values in crores as seen in the other graphs or charts. Sometimes you can also find the value not in percentage but in degrees where the sum of the degrees of all the four pies would equal to 360 degrees. One thing you should also note is that we can calculate the value of each of this pi by multiplying the value of that percentage with the total profit which is provided which is 2,65,000 crores. This would give the profit for each infrastructure company as represented in the pie chart. Let's now look at miscellaneous charts. So this, some of the other charts that you can also find uh, the spider charts and the scatter plots and due to paucity of time we will not go into depth of these two charts but definitely we will cover these charts in subsequent sessions. So on the closing note, revise the definition of each type of chart and what data they represent. Take the mock sectional test titled Intro to DI in the Android app to test your knowledge and also reach out to us if you have any questions in the dashboard section of our Android app. Thank you.